So right now, it's not going to happen for you guys. I'm sorry. With frustrations at a boil and information on Service Canada's own website unreliable, frontline staff at this Surrey, B.C. location summed up the state of the passport backlog. It's like a hit and a miss. Like a hit People are pissed off. They're just, they're not understanding why there's no walk-ins when there's so many empty chairs inside. With online appointments scarce, people have resorted to lining up for long hours only to be turned away. And it's not just Service Canada. The offices for the Nexus Trusted Traveler program in Toronto were closed two years ago and have yet to reopen, even though the U.S. program is fully operational. Yeah, we are a victim of the, you know, they should hire more people or figure it out. According to travel experts, the federal government simply wasn't prepared for over 500,000 passport applications to be filed in March and April. That type of number is typically unprecedented, even in pre-pandemic era in, in the springtime. But again, you have the expiration of passports, the release of pent-up energy, the release of travel restrictions, all accumulating into like a perfect storm of people clamoring for information. The government said in part, Service Canada has hired 600 new employees and opened more dedicated passport intake counters. However, the union says its members need 12 weeks of training before they're qualified to authorize a new passport. So for the foreseeable future, we may have to get used to empty Service Canada locations. You just have to keep on time. No matter how frustrating it is. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.